If you don't know about Brat TV yet, this digital network creates online-only episodes for Gen Z tribes. And its big breakout show, Chicken Girls, follows young adults who mix excitement, drama, and ships with school. Just like this series' real-life stars. Here's the real truth about Chicken Girls. Let's begin. Hollywood is already fiercely competitive, so imagine how scary it must be to launch an entirely new network. That's exactly what co-founders Darren Lochtman and Rob Fishman did with Brat TV. Having previously launched a successful marketing company, which was later acquired by Twitter, the pair felt that no good content existed for Gen Z. According to Inc., Lochtman and Fishman became obsessed with the idea of creating an entertainment company for teens. We're not just playing for kicks. We're playing for glory okay. and for... And we're, we're playing for fun. So the partners launched Brat TV, with a model that skillfully diverts from the industry standard. They write, produce, staff, and publish their shows all on their own. But all of that meant taking a financial gamble early on and using budget-saving film tricks to create their content. Securing the right actors and directors helped as well, and the team set their sights on even bigger goals. At the time, Business Insider reported, Fishman wants to use Chicken Girls and other shows in the future as the basis for a franchise, and he's exploring merchandising and other avenues as well. Fishman kicked things off with 2018's Chicken Girls The Movie and the Chicken Girls book series deal with Skyhorse Publishing, all of which led to an expansion deal with MGM TV in 2019. According to Variety, for its lineup of shows, the Brat TV team created the Attaway High universe, with the outlet reporting. Production took over a high school near Pasadena, California, and filmed a slate of overlapping shows set in the same fictional high school. Characters cross over between various productions in order to foster an environment that approximates a typical American high school. It has come to my attention that here at Attaway there's a lot of dancing and singing and prancing. Yeah. Duh. This sunny filming location and character swapping work in several ways. The audience gets to see more of its favorite stars, and Brat TV saves cash on production. But since the production team can't officially move into the Pasadena school, the network recreated its own scaled-down version. The LA Times reported, at Brat's cramped 10,000-square-foot office in Hollywood at Willoughby Avenue and North Highland Avenue, part of the building has been modeled as a set for a fictional school's hallway, complete with lockers and bulletins for the school's play and math club sign-ups. I have a feeling we're not in Attaway anymore. Did you even notice it was all happening on a stage? Or did Hollywood work its magic yet again? Chicken Girls has been the craziest experience of my entire life. What would life at Attaway High be like without Rooney? Indiana Massara, who plays the character, quickly became the other main star on Chicken Girls, alongside Annie LeBlanc. But did you know she almost didn't make the cut? Massara told Tiger Beat, I originally auditioned for another show called Attaway Appeal. I went in, read lines, and the director of that was like, Hey, I really like you. Do you also want to do this thing called Chicken Girls? I said, Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not doing anything else this week. Okay, Madison, woo! She definitely made the most of the opportunity and went on to be a shining star for the network. Masara has also played Rooney in other Brat TV series, like Attaway Appeal and Total Eclipse, plus Chicken Girls the Movie and the original film In Turn in Chief. It must be nice to be so popular that a series gets turned into a movie. What's surprising, however, is just how Brat TV told its Chicken Girl stars about their upcoming 2018 film. According to Masara, the cast didn't even realize they were shooting the movie at first. She told Tiger Bee, They sat us down one day on set and gave us our script, and it was a lot bigger than normal. Lights. Camera. Action! <laughs> Typically, series episodes run about 15 minutes, so this script must have been one thick stack of pages. Masara added that the producers told her and the other actors, So, we're filming a movie. Should we start next week? In 2018, Brat TV released Chicken Girls the Movie directly to its YouTube platform. But this film nearly had a traditional theatrical release, according to the LA Times. The outlet reported that after Brat TV landed a distribution and marketing deal with Lionsgate, the two companies differed on a few things. 
the network reportedly, quote, wanted to release the film before the launch of the show's third season, but Lionsgate supposedly wanted a more traditional studio-quality movie. No, none of this. No, none of that. According to Business Insider, when it came to Lionsgate's Eric Feig, who co-runs the Motion Pictures division, the outlet reported, he first invested as an individual in Brat, but got interested in Chicken Girls specifically when he was talking to his 13-year-old daughter. Feig told the outlet that when he mentioned the show star, Annie LeBlanc, his daughter said, Oh my god, of course I know her. She was immediately hooked. One, two, three, Chicken Girls! Unfortunately, the film received mixed reception, including a decider review that recommended readers, quote, skip it when it never made it into theaters. But it wasn't all bad news. The LA Times noted that the $500,000 flick drew hordes of new followers to the brand's YouTube channel, where ideally the company could recoup some cash through marketing. When the cameras aren't rolling, the Chicken Girls cast can be found fighting backstage. But don't worry, there aren't any beefy feuds to speak of here. Sure, the show is full of high school drama, but most of its stars get along really well. It turns out this fighting is totally reasonable. As Masara revealed to Tiger Beat, We always fight over the snacks. We're always like, no, I want the last Hot Cheetos. All the time. This was single-handedly my favorite part of set, you know? While they also claim to be big fans of Cheez-Its, Masara added, We picked up a lot of behind-the-scenes vlogging, and our lives are pretty much an open book on video, so they'll see those when they come out. Let's hope for some candid footage of these stars dusting it up at Crafty. Did you have a part-time job during school? Did it involve studying lines, getting hair and makeup done, and performing for millions on YouTube? Well, that's just life for the cast of Chicken Girls. Actress Lily Chi has said that her devotion to school matched that of her character Brittany, confessing to Brat TV. In my freshman and sophomore years, I was more focused on friends than boys, but this year I'm definitely focusing more on schoolwork. That sounds amazing. But it can be tough to drown out all the action on set to get schoolwork done. Riley Lewis, who plays Quinn Forrester, opened up about filming with other teens, telling Sweetie Hi. It's kind of distracting because you have all your friends around and you all just want to talk and hang out. It's hard because even though there are only three hours of school a day, you still have to get everything done. Actress Annie LeBlanc also stays busy with her studies as part of her daily routine. She revealed how she starts her day, telling Brat TV, It's time to eat breakfast, look over my schedule to see how many scenes I have, and then start school. Similar to, say, the Harry Potter franchise, it's amazing how much young actors change as they get older. Indiana Masara started at Brat TV in 2017, but a lot has happened in her years on screen. She opened up about blossoming right in front of the Chicken Girls audience, telling Brat TV, In just over two years with Brat TV, I've changed so much as a person and an actor. I was 14 turning 15 when I started. I've had my first boyfriend, been broken up with and had my heart broken, had jobs, recorded songs. Our lives have been on this show. We were all like so young and like we had no idea what Chicken Girls was going to be and then it just became this huge thing. It must be stressful enough to deal with all of those things even without starring on a show. But add to that the shooting schedule for Brat TV and you get a better sense of Masara's daily life. Luckily, things appear to be on the up and up for the starlet. She said, As a person, I've matured so much and hopefully become a better actress during it all. One of the coolest things you may not have known about are all the real life ships on Chicken Girls. No, not romantic ones. This time, we're talking about family. First up are Dylan and Kaden Conriki. This sister brother duo play Kayla and Tim. When Celeb Mix asked Dylan who she was closest to in terms of bonding on set, she said, Besides my brother Kaden, who plays Tim Sharp, my closest relationships are Annie and Hayden. The next sibling set is Riley and Madison Lewis, who play Quinn and Birdie. These sisters are actually part of the Lewis triplets, complete with brother Dakota. In a video for Famous Birthdays, the three sat down to test out how much they knew about each other. While discussing who's got the brains in the family, Madison admitted, Riley's the smart one, Dakota's in the middle, then it's me. What do you think? I think that until I hit my next growth spurt, that sweater belongs to me. 
And don't forget about Chicken Girl star Annie LeBlanc and her little sister Haley. While the two even have their own cooking show on Nickelodeon called Annie vs. Haley, their dad Billy also steps in on screen and off for Brat TV. Billy has appeared in four episodes of Chicken Girls and co-executive produced other network series. Brat TV got its start with the aim of providing entertainment for a new generation, and that included advancing the type of conversations presented for teens as well. Sam Silver, Brat TV's head of development, told Fast Company, "...the younger generation is a lot more open than we realize and give them credit for." Okay, let's give the people what they want. You really want a piece of me? I'd give you a nasty look, but it looks like you already have one. Let's get this party started. Before joining the Brat family, Silver was a writer and creator for Disney and Nickelodeon, but he recognized that something different needed to be done at Brat, saying, "...we want to do stuff that is a little bit deeper and is thoughtful and has real issues that teens are going through." I'm not allowed to talk to you. And I'm not okay with that. That's so hard for me. A great example of that is the relationship between Stephanie and Mel on Chicken Girls. As Silver put it, "...intimacy is not as big a deal to kids as it is with the older generations. They just want to see it reflected." Indeed, viewers took notice and applauded the show's open-minded and realistic approach. In an article posted for Medium, the author revealed how she wished she'd experienced similar storylines to watch while going through high school. But although this fan didn't grow up with a character on TV to relate to, she declared, "...Chicken Girls delivered on this for a new group of teens." The cast of Chicken Girls is chock-full of musicians. Some first started on the platform that later became TikTok to show off their vocals, while others jumped right into the music scene. Annie LeBlanc, Hayden Summerall, Indiana Massara, and Brooke Butler all have their own songs and the music videos to go with them. And Brat TV wisely incorporated their talents into the series as well, with LeBlanc, Butler, and Summerall performing the show's theme song, Birds of a Feather. Since its very first season, Everly Mag reported, Chicken Girl started to feature original music from its cast members. The songs are catchy and the lyrics are super relatable, which makes the songs perfect within the show and for jamming on their own. Five, six, seven, eight. The show's young cast even took the show on the road in 2018 on a U.S. tour with the Rock Your Hair Company, and it seems like these actors like to show off their musical talents during downtime on set, too. Discussing her most memorable moments while filming, Masara told The Daily Shuffle, "...the laughter, impromptu guitar playing, and singing will stay with me forever." While the on-screen talent, of course, deservedly gets most of the credit for hooking viewers into brat TV shows like Chicken Girls, we can't forget about the people working hard behind the scenes. And perhaps the biggest workhorse for the Brat family is Chris Campbell. The Vietnamese-American had his hand in directing seasons 2, 4, and 5 of Chicken Girls. And he's also directed episodes for other Brat series, including Red Ruby, Crown Lake, A Girl Named Joe, Total Eclipse, Brobot, and Attaway Appeal. While Campbell's got quite the television resume, you might also recognize his work in the music scene. He's directed several commercials and music videos, including those for the LA DJ trio Cheat Codes and hip-hop duo The Siege. The man clearly knows how to make content that appeals to Generation Z and beyond. That's a wrap, everybody! Great shoot! <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.